uh, in vivo. It has a feeling of ocean. Uh, well, map. Uh, this is more green. It's like more like a moss garden. And I photographed it yesterday, and it was fun looking from different angle. That's the big difference between doing two dimensional and three dimensional. And I hope that I can explore uh, this direction this year. And hopefully I can play with a little video um, kind of project that to see as a warm's eye view. So that's the another piece is that I started working recently is in this pile. Um, I've been doing handmade paper, making handmade paper at the Morgan Conservatory. Um, uh, Tom Volvo is my uh, mentor. Um, so this is, i always interested in embedding, I'm, I'm interested in layer of, of those book, um, etching on book page, embedded on layer of thin paper. And sometimes um, it has a hole uh, to look through uh, another layer. I'm always, I love paper. Um, I like the nature of the paper. I love the edge of the uneven shape that happens if you make paper. And even if it ha um, there's a bubble and there's a hole, I love it. <laughs> and I, um, I am always interested in fusing two different things. In this case, this white handmade paper and the etching on book page. And let's see. So this one also, a little bit of cut out book pages are embedded. i show quickly the, I borrowed this one from Morgan this morning. This is the screen I used. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a mold and Decor. Uh, it's a, uh, I use a, um, in the container water and the pulp in it, and I uh, get the paper and make it even. And that's how I get this texture on the paper. I should, uh, like this one, so you see a grid mm -hmm. that coming from this uh, grid. Oh. And I got works as a watermark. Uh, this frame works as stain the shape here to make a paper. This will be even flat, even paper. It's hard to explain without hard doing it, but then I have a little one. Oh. After mm -hmm. making the big sheet, mm -hmm. I can put cut out prints. Still it's wet and put some pieces and another white paper and put on top. That's how I made uh, windows in layers. And this is particularly, this piece is really interesting because there are also thin layers and you can see through. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> When uh, I trying to embed it more three dimensional material, which is this tatami mat uh, poster <laughs> that I found in Japan, and I embedded between the two layers of handmade paper. This graph one is a uh, denim. Uh, it's coming from denim material fiber, and I, there's a hole so you can see through. So, and this paper is a katagami stencil paper that has a family cell. Uh, this came from uh, Mitsui and Michael Wang, um, where I was, I walk at the Wang gallery every day. That's my day job. <laughs> 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 yes, 
the storage area, I always find uh, neat things that I can use for my home. Just let me know. You mean you cut off all those old, unsold prints? That's what it's That's nice. So I, whatever I find in my life that becomes part of my artwork. Um, this one also has a katagami stencil paper that has, it's hard to see. Um, it, I'm not sure. uh, it has a texture uh, here. Mm -hmm. and you could see it. Um, <laughs> and uh, this part is kind of very fragile paper here. I love this um, very um, subtle texture um, embedded this stencil and also uh, my grandmother's uh, silk fabric, mm -hmm. which I've been using for printing etching. My grandmother, her name is, her nickname is Baba. Mm. Or Bachan, um, in Japanese. And uh, when she was 40 years old, she started uh, sewing for my family using old kimono fabric mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they didn't have enough clothes for family. And um, so she's been sewing over 50 years until 90 something. And she retired from sewing. So she gave me this. Uh, material for my artwork. Mm -hmm. So now I print on them uh, <laughs> using a uh, paper etching tray. So you can. Um, it's so smooth uh, surface, so you you can print etching on them. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. this one also have the same fabric oh. with mm -hmm. etching and embedded between the two different color paper. Mm -hmm. These are cotton fiber. This is also print on fabric. See? It's mm -hmm. uh, so aqua tint and etching. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure you can see it, but um, it's a star-like uh, aqua tint that I've been using, like, like this same print. This is on paper, this is on silk. I'm using this plate, this aqua tint, um, it's called uh, sugar, uh, not sugar, white brown aqua tint. You can get a splash um, texture. Here's a title, Baba, um, coming from my grandmother's name. So this one uh, has a combination of uh, katagami stencil paper. This katagami stencil paper that I used for kimono um, in the early 20th century, 